Front Master Jim here. <clears throat> Do you yearn to discover the galaxy's most hidden secrets? To decipher the most vital clues of the cosmos? To cultivate the rarest life forms from distant planets throughout the known universe? Many cycles ago, planets from every corner of our star charts teemed with life. Each was home to some of the most exotic plant specimens ever documented. While no two were the same, all shared a single vital characteristic. They were the lifeblood to our astonishing night sky. Then, one fateful day, our bright sky went dark. But with your recent interest in the Seedling Cadet Initiative, those extraordinary specimens might just have a chance to relight our sky once again. Are you ready? Your application has been received, reviewed, processed, and accepted to our comprehensive vetting system. We are pleased to inform you that your irrevocable binding commitment is now complete. Let me be the first to welcome you to the Seedling Cadet Initiative. You truly are now part of a rare breed. Okay then, let's get you outfitted. A cadet can't do a cadet's work without the proper tools. And no tool is more important than this one. The kit has been preloaded with a starter seed for your convenience. I can assure you that statistically, it's the least deadliest of all our species. So just aim the apparatus at a non-irreplaceable surface and squeeze the injection lever. Be brave, cadet. The galaxy needs you more than ever. Go ahead now. Your sacrifice, or rather your deeds, will always be remembered. So far, so good, cadet. Now we just need to add a little hydrogen hydroxide. Or dihydrogen monoxide, if you prefer. Uh, hold on. What was that colloquial term on your planet? Oh, right. Water. <laughs> That's cute, really. Well, cadet. Just pour some water on top of where you planted the seed, and let's see what happens. Very well, then. Proceed at will. Cadet, your exoterrestrial organism has successfully germinated. We are transmitting its vital indicators to data centers throughout the galaxy. Okay, you're doing well, Cadet. I'm now sending you a container filled with omnipurpose revitalization balls. Or just orbs, if you're more of an acronym person. As the name suggests, these orbs are your seedling's primary source of nutrients. W wait a minute, what just happened? Is the sensor broken? <gasps> Tell me the orbs didn't all just disappear. Those were the last ones I had. <laughs> That's it. I'm doomed. I'm dead. It's all over. <laughs> I, uh, I, actually, hold on. There's still a slim chance this could work. The orbs were designed to be self-replicating in certain environments. So, it's theoretically... There you go. Well done. My orb sensor just ticked up. Did you catch one? Oh, 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 well done, cadet. I take back all of those things I said about your planet under my breath. Now, feed the orb to one of your plant's buds before it's too late. Oh. 
Oh, I'm getting new data, cadet. This looks very promising. Your seedling is responding even better than expected to the omnipurpose revitalization ball. You know, the orbs, right. Anyway, just remember, these orbs are vital to turning your plant's buds into flowers. Not to mention saving the rest of the galaxy. But that's a story for another time. Now make sure to grab every orb you can, cadet. Your plant will need all it can get to survive, and you never know how long it might be before more orbs appear. Okay, cadet, it's time to talk about a somewhat sensitive topic. Trimming your plant. I know not everyone is comfortable discussing it, but it's a necessary and beautiful part of the cycle of life. Now, Salil Snips. <laughs> Pretty cute, right? I named them myself. Now, everyone is afraid of harming their plant at first, but trimming is actually necessary for your plant to grow. In fact, trimming has been proven to greatly increase the bond between seedling and cadet. It also will help determine the final appearance and properties of your adult plant. You'll need to carefully inspect your plant for dead buds and leaves. Failure to trim them will prevent your plant from growing new, healthy ones. I know that's a big concept, but I'm sure you'll get it. Oh, this new data's looking good, cadet. I see new stems forming already. Your plant is truly thriving. Great work. <laughs> I want to congratulate you, cadet. In recognition of the skills and proficiency you have demonstrated, I am granting you access to the seedling streaming status sensor system. <laughs> Most people just call it the S5, but I majored in alliteration in college and I like to put my degree to good use. Go ahead and activate the system! <coughs> The Seedling Streaming Status Sensor System will allow you to monitor every aspect of your plant's health, and it even informs you of fascinating meteorological data in your area. Every seedling cadet is also provided with a path to advancement. These are goals that you can take on to further your progress in the cadet program and earn beautiful and amazing achievement badges. Not only do the badges earn you respect and admiration among your fellow cadets, they are also a source of endless conversation at parties. There you have it, cadet. You are now a fully independent, autonomously operating ceiling cadet. I'll still keep in touch to monitor your progress, or maybe just to, you know, chat sometimes. But what you do next is entirely up to you. Just make sure to check on your seedling every day, and I'll talk to you soon.